in November, I got contacted from Seed Studio, and they wanted me to review their Fusion PCB service. Now, I've never used a China Fat before. Ever since I started really messing with electronics, a little bit before I even started this YouTube channel, I've always used Oshpark. So, they're like my de facto place to get circuit boards done. So, I'm like, okay, cool. Let's try China Fat. So they sent me a $50 digital coupon code that I can use on their website and design whatever board I want, have it run through their system, come on over and give them a review. I told them it's going to be honest. So they had no problem with it. So I ordered boards and this is what I came up with. So we're going to compare this to Oshpark because that's my de facto. Now for shipping on these, I ordered it December 11th which is a Sunday. So I'm not even going to count that day because no one works on Sunday. Even over in China, no one works over on Sunday. I don't believe so. So I ordered it December 11th. They got the order December 12th. And they were in my hand by DHL shipping December 21st, which is a Wednesday. So it's about a week and a half turnaround time, which is basically on par with Oshpark. The only drawback I had with it, Oshpark, that's with free United States postal sh shipping from Oregon over to Delaware where I'm at. Now for these guys, uh, I think it was like $20 or so for the DHL shipping. So the big difference in price here for this size board is, I think I paid, yeah, it was $54 and change afterwards. So I, I ended up actually paying $4 or whatever because I used a $50 coupon code that Seed Studio sent me. But normally it would cost me $54, $55 to get 10 of these circuit boards sent on over. So that's a great price. Oshpark, on the other hand, they are perfect for when you do little tiny boards like this. And that's where they're, they excel at. And they actually say it themselves. If you need small little prototype boards done, they are cheap. But whereas 10 of these will cost me $54 shipped from Seed Studio from China. And about the same amount of time, even with the inflated shipping costs, if I got this done at Oshpark... Now, of course, they do it in batches of three, so it'd end up being 12 boards, not 10. Let's see here. It would turn out to be, for Seed Studio, these cost about $3 each. That's how you amortize them before shipping. Now, if I go down, and I'm on PCBShopper.com right now. If I go down, da, 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 where is Oshpark? Um, with free shipping, don't count the shipping in whatsoever. These boards from Oshpark would be $16.53 each for a quantity of 12, because they do it in multiples of 3. Seed Studio gives you a multiple 5, 10, I think 15, 20, 30, 40, whichever. I got 10. So the closest multiple that would be for Oshpark is 12. It would be $16.53 each for a total of $198.40. Oshpark tells you that... Bigger boards, they're not the cheapest. But for small little boards, these great little things, oh, you can't beat their price and you can't beat the quality of their boards. So let's bring the camera on down over here and we're going to compare the actual craftsmanship of the circuit boards to Oshpark and see if it's good. It's one thing to have a good deal and get a cheap circuit board from China if it doesn't work or if it's a piece of crap. So here we go. Okay, so here's the board that we got from Seed Studio. This is as close as my camera can actually go, so I got a little magnifying glass that'll bring it in a little bit more, but it might be a little bit shaky. And this is the most complex area of my circuit board. Got a bunch of 0805 components here, a lot of little resistors for all the capacitors, and a half mil pitch 40 pin connector. Now, the silk screen came out perfect. There is no slide, it's not off to the side, it's not touching the pads. It's aligned perfectly. The ENIG coverage is perfect. And even, I didn't have many through holes on here, but the drill alignments are absolutely perfect. Except for this one, it's ever so slightly off, but it's still quite usable. Um, the only other drills you can really see, and I had all the vias tented in here, but if I can hold it steady enough, you can see the darker green for the copper around each one. The alignments are great. Even right here. That was supposed to be in the middle, and it's in the middle. So, the drill alignments are perfect. Here's another example. 
This is a uh, QFN44. It's an Atmel uh, ATmega 1284 IC. The silk screen came out wonderful too. This is the first time I've used slots in a board, so I cannot compare it to Oshpark. I've never used slots with Oshpark, but they came out perfectly, just the way I had them in the Gerbers. Even the micro SD came out perfectly. Now, just for comparison, here's another board I had from Oshpark done. And you can see here's the de facto standard. Their drill spots are perfect. The silk screen looks just as good. And you can see there's no misalignment problems. And this is my normal from Oshpark. I've never really had a problem with them. The only problem is uh, their bigger boards cost a lot more, and I can get them a lot cheaper from here. So, yeah, that came out perfectly. And even on the back, silk screen came out perfect. The only drawback to their service is I deliberately put place production codes here because they always put a little code. That's how they do their um, panel panelization. They had to put it outside. It's like, really? Come on. That's the only gripe I have about their service, that they couldn't read that and put it somewhere in here. I deliberately put the silk screen there for it. But even here, the silk screen came out perfect, and I even did graphics on the copper ENIG coverage, and they came out perfect. Let's see if I can get good focus. That is perfect. I cannot complain about that at all. That is, that is as good as Osh Park. So, comparing apples and apples, circuit board and circuit board, quality-wise, Seed Studio is as good as Osh Park. It, their major advantage is they are cheaper on larger board sizes than Osh Park will be. Smaller board sizes, sorry, Osh Park still wins. I will always use them. But if you're doing more than maybe two square inch boards or so, Seed Studio is definitely my option from now on. Anytime I use anything smaller than two inches, Oshpark is still my guy. So, this is perfect. I love it. The only gripe I have with them is they put their little code out. They put it anywhere on the board, supposedly. I didn't contact them and ask them if they would actually put it in the little production area. I probably should have emailed them. It's like, hey, I got this little area in silkscreen. Can you put your little production code inside there? This way it's aesthetically pleasing for my board. Because as you can tell, I had a bunch of little graphics done on the copper layer. So that like aesthetics on my board. This is my own little piece of art and I want it to look good. Now the only other edge I also see with Seed Studio and this isn't even a gripe. I mean I barely shouldn't even have to bring it up but Oshpark when they depanelize their boards they use mouse bites so you have this little tiny area and a little tiny tab that you usually have to cut off and file down for a nice smooth edge. Really honestly not a big deal but ever so slightly when you get a board from Osh or from from Seed Studio, it is perfectly milled all the way around. There is no jagged edges. There's no mouse bites to smooth away. And also, a nice little plus, when I, since I ordered the 10-pack, when I got them and picked them, out, picked them up from the DHL bag, opened it up, all 10 circuit boards were perfectly wrapped in this little baggy, I mean, vacuum form. So they're really protected. It's really nice. Oshpark, they use a bubble bag and just throw them in there loosely, which I've never had a board come in bad, but this is just like an extra quality control or QA, whatever you want to call it. I thought it was pretty cool. It's nice. All the boards were perfectly packed together. So, and it's definitely vacuum formed because some of my cutouts, you can see the plastic going right back into it. So it's just an added little thing that was pretty cool with Seed Studio. And you can't beat it. They sent me free stickers for Christmas. Oh yes. And even their envelope that was inside the DHL bag has Seed Studio on it. So that's how it arrived to me. And they did a very good job considering it only took, what, 36 hours in the DHL system to go from Shenzhen over to Delaware. Nothing was damaged. It was beautifully wrapped. So that's my review. That's my honest review. I will use them again for bigger boards. Smaller boards, I will use Osh Park still. 
So there is your option for bigger boards. I have no gripes whatsoever. And thank you, Seed Studio, for giving me the opportunity to actually review you and get some free boards in the process. Have a good day.